Hi, this is Kanababu. This is part 41 of ASP.NET. In this video, we'll discuss about example on view state and some points to remember on view state. The last video we all, we already discussed on shopping cart application view state. Any state management techniques, two steps are there. One is store the value, other one is read the value. And we have seen the syntax to store the value in view state. View state of variable name is equal to value. Here you see, I'll try to go to the toolbox. And here I'll try to drag and drop one button control. I'll try to drag and drop one button control from toolbox. And here I'll try to take one more button control. Is it clear? And here I'll try to take one label control. So whenever user clicks on button one, I want to store the value in view state. So what is the problem with state management techniques? One button is equal to one method. Two buttons means two methods. If you declare any variable in one method, that variable cannot be accessible in another method because of stateless nature. So as a developer, we need to maintain the state of the response. Here I'll try to give the text for this button as store. And the text for another button I will try to give as display. So I'll try to store the value in one method and I want to access the value in another method. So what to do? Double click on button one and write the code. Here you can try to store the value in view state. Here I'll try to give something like view state of variable name. Here I'll try to give view state of variable name is equal to value. View state of x is equal to some value. I'll try to give something like uh, some welcome. I'll try to give one message. And I want to display one message in label. Label one dot text is equal to here I'll display value was stored in view state. Value was stored in view state. And here double click on button two and write the code. I want to retrieve the value from the view state and display in the label. Label one dot text. Actually, by default, view state will maintain the data in the form of object class. So in C sharp.net, there is one predefined class. The name of the class is object. It is not creating an object for a class. Okay now. So view state will maintain the data in the form of object. For example, if I write object x is equal to new a of something like this. Okay, now so by default, every class is a derived class a, b, c. In ASP.NET, every class is a derived class, so per class is object class. We can store any type of value in object. So, so per class reference can hold any type of its subclass object. Is it clear? We can store any type of value in object. Object O is equal to 10, valid. But here if I declare int x is equal to O, you'll get an error. Typecasting is required. Typecast with int of. Int of O. So at the time of accessing the value from object data type, typecasting is mandatory. So here also, if you want to read the value from view state, you have to do typecasting. View state of x. Here you'll get an error. Because label will accept the data in the form of string, view state will maintain the data in the form of object. So try to convert this object into string. Is it clear? Whatever the value you store in view state, view state will maintain the value in the form of object type. So at the time of reading the value from the view state, type caching is mandatory. So when user clicks on button one, I want to store the value in view state. And when user clicks on button two, I want to read the value from view state. The scope of view state is within the page. If you store any value in the view state, that value you can access only within that page. It will not possible to access outside that particular page. So here, whenever user clicks on this button, value was stored in view state. Whenever user clicks on display, we can read the value from the view state. Because between multiple client requests and responses, the values are not maintained. Is it clear? And here the points to remember while working with view state. Point number one, view state is a client side state management technique which is used to maintain the state of the response on web browser. The scope of view state is within the page. That is, we cannot maintain the values from one page to another page. Within the same page, you can uh, access the view state value. View state will maintain the data in encrypted format within the browser. So whatever the value that you store in the view state, that values are maintained in encrypted format within the browser. So any hacker can convert the encrypted value into plain text format. So it is not recommended to store the sensitive information like passwords in view state. 
see when i click on store now right click go to your view page source whatever the value that you're storing in view state that will be maintained in the form of encrypted format this is encrypted format so any hacker can convert the encrypted value into plain text format so it is not recommended to store the sensitive information like otp numbers or uh, this passwords in view state mostly secure data if you want to store will go for server side state management techniques only okay that is the point here what i am discussing this is the points that you have to explain to the interviewer so all of you try to buy hard these points view state will automatically retain the values of the control during the postbacks of the same phase see generally in asp adopted every control is a predefined class label label is a class text box is a class check box is a class if you go to toolbox what happen you know you can see lot of controls are there in your toolbox whenever you drag and drop the control object is created for each and every particular control because every control is a predefined class when you drag and drop the controls from the toolbox objects are created for each and every control is it clear so whenever user clicks on button request is going to the server whenever user clicks on second button again request is going to the server so every time when the request is going to the server the whole control will be destroyed because every control is also an object right so view state uh, the the problem is state management problem is there http stateless nature problem is there because when user clicks on button if for example here i have five labels and five text boxes are there in this space now when user clicks on button all the labels text boxes will destroy because of stateless nature in order to not to destroy that particular uh, uh, elements is it clear internally microsoft is maintaining the state of the control by using view state is it clear see what i am telling did you understood everyone when i click on button this button to label and every all the other controls will destroy because of stateless nature but still you can see now but the controls are still displaying within your browser because of view state every control will have a property called enable view state if enable view state is equal to true then the control values will be maintained right click go to properties here you can see a property called enable view state that is a view state is the main drawback actually if multiple controls are there in a single page the button on the page will be increased that is the reason when you go for mvc or other high end technologies they will not support view state is it clear that the point i'm telling point number 4 view state will automatically retain the values of the controls during the postbacks of the same page all the control values will store in view state before page load event there are different types of events that are available page level events whenever you press f5 whenever you send the request to the server all the control values will be stored in the view state if enable view state property is set to false then view state will not maintain the values and internally microsoft is maintaining the state of each and every control by using view state that is the point as view state will maintain the value in the browser it will reduce the button on server point number 7 point number 8 we can store only limited amount of data in view state in the browser generally browser uh, capacity will be changed is it clear the maximum capacity of the browser especially in internet explorer we can store maximum of 4 kb of information so it is not recommended to store huge amount of data in what view state we can store object in view state but we have declared the class with serializable attribute is it clear means what let us see here for example here i will try to take one class here i'll try to do some small example here i'll try to go to project add new item select web form and here i'll try to go to the design and here i'll try to write something like enter employee number here i'll try to take enter employee name and here i'll try to take enter salary is it clear and here i'll try to take buttons so here i'll try to drag and drop one text box control i'll try to design this form okay so this is my design actually here i design some form like this enter employee number one text box employee name one text box now my question is can we store object in view state 
is it clear let us see here this is my design actually so here uh, when the user clicks on this button i want to store the value here i want to store the value in view state and when your user clicks on button to i want to read the value from view state something like this okay now so here i'll try to go to my project add a class i will take one class here the name of the class i'll give as employee employee.cs click on add button it is one class actually in this class i'll declare some variables into e number and here i'll try to declare string e name and i'll try to declare a double salary and i'll make these variables as public for time being public and here also i'll try to take some other variables uh, like public i'll try to declare the access modifier because the default access modifier of variable is private and here i'll try to declare one constructor and i'll try to pass some parameters int number comma string name comma double sal i will try to give and i will initialize the values for the variables e number is equal to number e name is equal to name is it clear what is my question means can we store object in view state salary is equal to sal something like this here i'll try to give salary now here you can see now uh, uh, I, when user double click on this button i want to create an object for my class here i'll try to declare as instance variable employee e1 semicolon within the button click i will create an object e1 is equal to new employee of so here i'll try to declare some variables int number is equal to int dot parse of text box one dot text okay now similarly string name is equal to text box two dot text similarly double sal is equal to double dot parse of text box three dot text okay na? so at the time of creating the object i will pass the values number comma name comma sal are you following so here i am trying to creating one object and i want to store this object in one view state so view state of variable name some e1 is equal to e1 is it clear now when user uh, clicks on this uh, button button 2 i want to read the value from the object this e1 is instance variable now you can access anywhere within the class so here i will write e1 is equal to type caching is required employee of here i will write it view state of view state of variable name you watch my video up caching and down caching there you will get clarity this is down caching only now i want to display the values in the labels label one dot text is equal to e1 dot e number dot two string because by default label will accept the data in the form of string similarly label two dot text is equal to here i will try to give e1 dot e name and here i will try to give label three dot text is equal to e1 dot salary dot two string so what is what is happening here when user clicks on button one i want to store the object in view state my question is can we store object in view state yes when user clicks on button 2 i want to read the object from the view state and display the values press f5 so in interview they will ask you can we store object in view state is it that is the question here let us see here, here i'll try to give 101 anilin 20000 click on this store button so here you will get one error actually because whenever you store object in view state you have to decorate that particular class with serializable attribute that is a good question they will ask in interview so can we store object in view state means answer is yes but we have to decorate the class with the serializable attribute so here if you want to store object in view state you have to decorate that particular class with serializable attribute now you will not get any error let us see see whenever user clicks on store and read the value now no error because I stored the object in and decorate the object with serializable attribute so in point number 10 if the page contains more controls then view state will might affect the performance on the page so that is the reason if your web page comes of multiple controls view state is will uh, affect the performance of the page so view state is a client side state management technique which is used to maintain the response on the browser the scope of view state is within the page we cannot maintain the values between multiple web pages. Is it clear? In the next video, we'll discuss about query string. For more videos, try to subscribe to my channel. Have a nice day. Bye.